Dead Eye Lost Art Guide. What's up, Saviors GH here? This is gonna be quick, straight to the point. This is all about enhanced weapon Dead Eye build for Lost Art. We're gonna talk about what is Dead Eye, how it's played, the engravings, the stats, what are the skills, how do you actually use your skills, your gems, your runes, your cards, all that in this video. This build focuses on boss fights, and with that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's do this. Let's start with what is Dead Eye? Dead Eye in Lost Ark is a ranged physical damage dealer who specializes in taking out enemies from mid to close range, and he can debuff enemies with weakness exposure which decreases the critical resistance of enemies, and this debuff can be taken advantage of by you and your teammates. Dead Eye's specialty is he can use 3 weapons, the pistol, shotgun, and rifle. Just a reminder guys, this is an enhanced weapon guide. Now the Dead Eye class can switch between those weapons, and if you have the enhanced weapon engraving, every time you switch your weapon, you will get a buff that will increase your critical. And there goes the enhanced weapon description. And as you can see, level 1 gives a lot already, and as much as possible, stay at level 1, so you should focus more on engravings that increases your damage. And now that we're talking about engravings, first engraving is Ambush Master. This is one of your main engravings aside enhanced weapon because as a dead eye, your main goal is to go behind an enemy boss and unleash shotgun skills from there. So you should max Ambush Master out, level 3. Next engraving is Keen Blunt Weapon. This will increase your critical damage, get this to level 3. Third engraving is Adrenaline. This will increase your attack power and crit rate as you use abilities and Dead Eye uses skills like crazy so this is gonna be a good engraving. Fourth engraving is Curse Doll which will increase your attack power but will lessen your healing. Fifth is Grudge. This is one of the best engraving for increasing damage but it will also increase the damage you receive. Now stats. You're gonna be specialization here with critical on your necklace early on the game. But as you progress and you get more sources of critical, you can drop crit rate and swap it with swiftness because you're gonna need fast animations and lesser cooldowns. So mainly specialization, then crit rate or swiftness depending on your situation. So if you feel like you ain't critting that much, put it on crit. And if you feel like you have too much crit, then put it on swiftness. Now that we're done with the engravings and stats, now dead eye skill build just a reminder guys if you have any questions on the skills just ask on the comments i will do this as fast as i could and as clearly as i could here's my skill setup guys we're gonna start from the top and we're only gonna discuss the important skills first skill is spiral tracker this is your critical resistance debuffer make sure this lands frequently there goes the augments and you can use conviction here or bleed rune second skill is the grenade this is another critical resistance debuffer use this to debuff enemies Third skill is Enforce Execution. This is your counter and this can also be used to position yourself better. Fifth skill is Equilibrium. This is again another critical resistance debuff but this one lasts for 12 seconds. So this is best used if you plan to unload all of your shotgun skills behind an enemy. Skill number six is Dexterous Shot. It's your main mobility skill. This is your primary skill for getting behind an enemy. Put Gale Wind here so the animation is faster. Skill number seven is Quick Shot. This is a DPS skill, there goes the tripod, and put Gale Wind here. Skill number 8, Cruel Tracker. It's another DPS skill, and if you use Convection on Spiral Tracker, this is a good skill to put the Judgment Rune on because this can activate Judgment much more frequently. By the way guys, if you're not familiar with Conviction and the Judgment Rune, I will leave a link in the description. Now, the Shotgun Skills. This is your main damaging skills, and it's best used behind an enemy close range. First Shotgun Skill is Sign of Apocalypse. There goes the build and use Gale Wind here. Second Dead Eye skill over here is Shotgun Rapid Fire. Use Gale Wind Rune here. Third skill is Dominator, another DPS skill. There's the build and use Gale Wind here. There goes the fourth skill, Last Request, another hard hitting skill. And it's also a very good stagger skill. And because of that, use your best Overwhelm Rune here. Now, as for the rest, there it goes. Just pause. Don't worry about the rifle skills, those are just filler skills. I only use them to maintain adrenaline or when the enemy is too far. Now gems. Get damage gems and cooldown gems for all dead eye shotgun skills. And then put cooldown and damage gems on cruel tracker and quick shot. As for how to use dead eye in lost arc, you already know how to play as a dead eye in lost arc if you watch the whole video. So yeah, use your mobility skills like dexterous shot to go behind an enemy and use shotgun skills close range. Now for the cards, early on go for Lost Wind Cliff for crit rate and if you're fighting a boss that's weak against holy, use an 18 pieces plus awakening of light of salvation. 
And guys, do you want to see my Lost Ark Sorceress Igniter build? There it goes on the screen. Leave a like before you go. And this is Game Be Hardcore. See you in the next one.